The following film contains mention and discussion of mental illness, consumption of prescription medication, and consumption of alcohol. What if I told you I'd come into your home every week and show you all the ways you're doing it wrong? It's time to be at home with anxiety. figuring out what to do with all of those feelings of impending doom and crushing failure. Well, I have some suggestions today that I think are kind of fun and have certainly worked for me over the years. You just have to be a bit creative. Understand the requirements of perfection and commit yourself to never making a mistake. All of your emotions have a natural shelf life. After that, you'll find that they begin to lose their spice. But not to worry. With a little bit of bottling, you can keep those emotions high and on hand for an eternity. Anxiety is especially good for preserving. All of those rich and varied flavors promise you a churning tummy and a quickened heart rate with every single bite. Oh, we have a question from a home viewer. Helen here now from <laughs> Misery in Australia asks, what would you use to store that in? And well, I am glad you asked Helen in Misery. <laughs> I use jars and I think we're going to need a lot of them. Now you can use new jars and destroy the planet or you can use old jars and just accept the fact that your shelves are messy and you are a terrible housekeeper. Fuck. Now, grab a knife and let's get to work. I like to start by removing the stalks and stems from my feelings. Unease and uncertainty will give you a much thicker jam if they're not watered down by logic and reason. If you find it too hard to use a knife, or perhaps you are not allowed access to knives, then you can just tear at your feelings with your bare hands. Get your emotions straight into the pan to really seal in the flavors. Mmm. Now mix in your tears. What? You can use fresh tears if you wish. You can use any tears you have on hand. As I like to harvest and store mine to really let the flavors develop. Tears of frustration will give you a chutney that pairs perfectly with swearing under your breath. Self-loathing tears give you a jam that is great for eating just straight out of the jar. Today we're using male tears. Now these are readily available in any public or private space. If you do have trouble locating them, just begin a conversation about Hillary Clinton or Ghostbusters and you'll find they come to you. Male tears can add some delicious spice if they're used correctly, but they can be difficult to swallow. So just be careful not to overdo it. Now it's time to turn on the heat. Get yourself to boiling point and hold it there for about four or five minutes or until your panic attacks have left you utterly desiccated. Here's one I prepared earlier. Now pull yourself together and pour your filthy soul into those jars. Then cover over with waxed etiquette and diazepam.
The producers of At Home with Anxiety wish to advise that this program does not constitute medical advice. All medications should be taken only under guidance and advice of medical professionals. The persons and legal entities involved in this production and its distribution do not accept any responsibility for personal injury, illness, or loss caused by any action taken at the advice of the program or its host, which is not advice anyway, and it's not our fault. If you pay attention to and respect the advice of the figurehead, we have worked hard to establish as an authority on life and arbiter of good choices. Failing from Hope Street in New York asks, what would you use to store them, and I'm glad you asked, Hope's failing. You can just box them up and shove them right to the back of the cupboard, where they will store for many, many years. Sometimes you get a crack, and your jar will shatter, spilling emotion all over you and everyone around you. of shame, self-loathing, and confusion, and get them into a pan. Twice stewed emotions have twice the flavor. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for At Home with Anxiety, because being alone just brings us closer together. And with Christmas only six months away, it's time to, to get planning with my new book, Don't Ruin Christmas with Anxiety. And the great news is, our automatic subscription service means you don't have to do a thing to catch all my latest tips. I'll just pop up in your life whenever I have something to say. <laughs> Join me next week <laughs> and discover how you can have me in your life at all times, even when you're asleep, when I show you my favorite ways to fold flat and fitted sheets of depression. just wanted to call and say that I reckon um, Leslie Jones is funnier than Bill Murray.